what I like about myself the most is that I'm forgiving and I have a lot of empathy. We're so caught up in life and in doing things all the time that we don't have time to look around and enjoy what's within us and what's going on around us in that moment. I think that beauty comes from how you treat other people. I think that's beautiful whenever someone, even if like they don't always get along with the people that they love all the time, like when they're just really grateful for everything in their life. I think that's something that's really beautiful. I think who you surround yourself with has to do with how you view yourself. Playing the cello for me is centering. It's really about like what's going on, like the energy and what is being played. I really like that I'm willing to just be committed to something and like um, be willing to like put in effort and work into it. Everyone kind of tells you what you have to do, what you have to be, and if you don't feel like you meet that, then you kind of feel like you're not like you're not living up to the expectation. So it makes you feel like kind of like you don't, you're not important, and you don't like to look at yourself with like a lot of appreciation or like love. <laughs> mm -hmm. When someone believes that they're enough, then they're able to like just live their life how they want it and that's beauty to me. Do stuff that you love that helps a lot and find good friends that encourage you to love yourself and do the stuff you love. I started dancing when I was five at Rolosanos and it's Mexican folkloric dance and I've really loved it ever since and like yeah I really like it. Play. I look back at the person who I was even like last year, way back in like fifth grade, elementary school, and I've just changed a lot as a person. Some good, some bad, but <laughs> um, I'm pretty happy like who I am today, maybe what my potential is down the road. It's very difficult for people to talk about themselves and also just to kind of look inside and be like, oh, like what if? What am I not like telling myself, you know? Things that you hide away or you try to pretend aren't true. It's, it's really hard to analyze yourself. Sometimes I let what other people say like, get to me too much. I'm very self-conscious about acting the wrong way in situations. I love planning out my outfits because I feel like if I look put together, I feel more put together. That's super important for me. These are my favorite jeans, my junk jeans. Jeans you never kill, that's what it stands for. And they're bell-bottomed, which I thought I would never be a bell-bottomed person, but this brings out my inner Stevie Nicks. And it's not even just for other people, it's just for myself, you know? It's so important not to care about what other people think, because then once you start to do that, you realize there's something. I think self first is super important. Like, you just need to realize how incredible you are as a person. I love my spirit <laughs> a lot. I tend to be more optimistic about things. I have hope in people, uh, even when I shouldn't. <laughs> I still struggle with my, my body image. I think that roller skating especially has taught me a lot about my own physical strength and loving my body. It tells me what my limits are and what I am capable of, which is a large thing to learn about yourself. I say take some time alone and try not to like listen to what the people around you are saying about you and really uh, find something that you love, stick with it, even if it's very time consuming, just do something that makes you really happy and it'll teach you a lot about yourself.